And unlike other times, although I say it every time, I'm actually starting to do more practice instead of just randomly going for runs. Even though I'm sure in about half an hour's time I'll be three minutes behind and that will be irrelevant. However, I can always hope. Just get another run started. If I keep doing like one or two runs every week, then surely eventually I'll get a decent run. At least I hope that's how it works. Although probably not a good start for getting how to quit out. Okay, yeah, let's try and not forget how to quit out. That would be quite useful. I basically just, just for starting, went through everything I messed up on Friday. I mean, given I only did like an hour and a half of the run, that's not really much to do, but... Just went through some of the Pegasus and wrong warps. Also actually did a tiny bit of late game, like clean up practice on the off chance that I actually get there. Things. All, all I really need is one run that isn't too far behind of PB at Elden Beast. Or like level with PB at Elden Beast and then just get remaining time save on the cleanup. But once I hit the cleanup, it should be pretty smooth. Cleanup should be pretty smooth once I get there, so... Just need to actually get there. Like, in all of the runs, I've messed up different things. Like, the three runs I've done, I don't. I can't really think of anything that I've messed up in more than one run apart from Soldier of Godric now. So, I can't think of anything I've messed up in multiple runs apart from, like, buy cards but that's just that's always going to be the case although starting off with that isn't very nice So the general gist of it is just, like, I'm okay with losing some time, like, in Volcano Manor, like, on parts of the setup, because then I can get all of my time back on Sonaf and Godric, because those two collectively cost... I think those two collectively come to about two and a half minutes. Basically, first try ride card, don't mess up too much of anything else, and then sort of be ahead after those two. This is how runs should go. Whether they actually do is a different question.
So go and pick up Torrent as always. Don't know what my game was doing then. There was also, I, I did like check if maybe it'd be faster to run to that grace and get Torrent there, but I think it's about equal. This shot's about equal to run there. It will summon torrent to treat him with This might be like a second faster as well, but there are a lot of things I want to actually check now. Like not during this run, but like just during warm up, I was thinking about maybe checking, potentially killing Gold Free on Pegasus to get to Morgoth faster, which is something that next time I do practice or testing, I'll probably check. I don't think it would be faster, because unlike Red Wolf, Gold Free would be active and would also have more HP, but it's worth checking. And then if once I do get a PB over the 534, then it'll probably soon be time to start looking at Chainsaw, including it on like the All Remembrance parts of the run. I thought of including it on All Remembrance, on the All Remembrance parts of the run, that might not work. And then also... Um, Unlike Knights, Cavalries, and Deathrite Birds. So they're both very annoying bosses to kill with Sonaf. It may be using Chainsaw on them could help. Honestly, Chainsaw and all of those things would probably save a ridiculously high amount of time. It, it would it would at the very least make like death fight birds and cavalries consistent. Rather than like with Sonaf, you could just keep trying chainsaw. If you fail it just quit out and try again. So So at the very least they would be consistent. I, I still think they would be a lot faster. Even with just like a plus four. If you had it seems torrent, whereas I may there is but I can take gathering very let my hand. Stop off in round table and wrong warp and then just get all the Leonia setup done and then go off to Volcano Manor. Grace is just beyond these trees, I think. Okay, yeah, it's just here. I should also learn like, the faster way to get off the bridge on the right-hand side. I get off Ray Lucari bridge on the right-hand side. Because we do it a couple of times. So it could maybe save, like... 10 seconds or something just sort of be useful like that 
I don't know, maybe it, it seems like quite a minor thing. A jumping off that side instead of going down here and running under. There's maybe something to like leave for much later on. So we need to get Ice Rind, get the Glintstone Key, Ball Bell Freeze, and then we can head off to Volcano Manor. There's Ice Wind. And the Grace we need for Smarag and I think also some of this stuff over here. Like Bowls, I think, is just over there, the Carrion Knight. Which you then head over to um, like the Snail and that sort of thing. I think. So it's been over a year since I've actually done like the clean up portions. So into a Lucaria just to set up Pegasus. Then head over to Four Belfries and get patches before we go and kill Rikard. There we go. Now run over here. I do wish this setup wasn't as long as it is. Like half an hour setup is pretty... It's quite a long time, but... I don't really know if there is a faster way to get around this. It's like you sort of need everywhere we go to. But the, the only other argument would be maybe like splitting setup up, so... So maybe instead of like doing four belfries now, you could split up to do it later. Just there's not as much running around at the start. So I, I don't really think there's a way to actually make it faster, per se, as in time save. Just to so even out how much you do when. It's like ev everything else we pretty much need right now. Like patches and volcano mana, all of that stuff we kind of need right now, so don't really think you can speed it up. Let's run into the cave. 
You can quit out there to skip the invader. Because the fog will won't the fog will in front of the cave won't go up immediately. There's enough time to run in. Okay, hopefully Patches won't be a troll this run. I, th I think all three of my other runs, Patches has been a troll. And either held his shield up or stalled in some other way. Okay, please don't be annoying. Okay, he wasn't annoying. Apparently that was a gold. Perfect. He actually behaved and I actually hit my hit my shots with the unsheath. I very nearly failed that quit out. Some some of the Pegasus quit outs are like very close to a death plane. So you have to be really quick on it. Luckily that one isn't. Hop down here. And then hope it doesn't time waste and just comes and grabs me. Lovely. So Sombre 5 and 6, and then take care of Noble. I always get hit there. I also need to make sure I don't get hit by this dude who will be throwing fire pots. Apparently they just didn't throw it. I always hope that the snake is long a far way away. Sombre five. Now we can go and get the Godskin Noble. Once he spawns in, put out.
Okay, got skin Novo. Honestly, this has been a pretty decent split. Like, I've, I'm sure I'll lose time, but... Yeah. I'm okay with that much, though. Like, we're still ahead, which I think is the first time I've actually still been ahead after Godskin Noble. Right, and now we need to go and get RKR and then head off to Rykard. Just see if I can get this jump first try. Like, it doesn't cost anything to fail it, but it's always nice to just do it first try without really needing to set anything up. Just jump on here, on here, up, and across. Very nice. I need to go and get RKR, just because it's completely busted. And then we Pegasus from the entrance round to Rykard, which is much faster than going the intended way. So make that a favourite. And then one warp. This Pexis normally isn't too scary to set up. Like the one in the one next to the Vine Tower of Kaelids, when after getting the Sombers to climb back up, that one's really temperamental as to whether like you get knocked off the edge or it works or whatever. Generally speaking, this one's pretty free. We do do it a second time for when we go to the Falling Star Beast up there. We do that Pegasus again, but... And we even get a gold out of it. It's very nice. Okay. Please let me first try Rykard. I will be so happy. Okay, didn't go for Earthquake, which isn't very good. Which means that he can do it whenever he wants. Ok, 
Okay, don't poison. Or do that. Okay, I have no heals for my card. I beg of you, start with your skull attack. Which he did. Don't know where I was aiming there. Okay, got the stagger. Okay, don't serpent, don't serpent. <sighs> that was really close. Holy. I should just learn chains off this one fight, if anything. Why did he go for the quick attack there? I was expecting him to try his... Like... Big... Like, red cloud skull thing. And he just didn't. Yeah, I think it might be time for Chainsaw. Just for this one boss, if anything. really sucks. I always have to die like at the end of the Rykard fight. I, I can never die just at the beginning of Serpent. It always has to be at the end of this fight. He's probably going to go for his big attack now. Not quite. Serpent? No. Serpent? No. He's supposed to do that serpent as a follow-up there. Okay, we got Vicard. Two and a half minutes, which for a death to Rye card is not that much. But that is really not that much time for a death to Rye card. So I am happy. Ah, 
I'll take it. Because normally I've ended up losing like three, three and a half minutes there, so. And given I also died quite near the end of the fight, could have been much worse. Okay, so I always hate doing this tree jump. It's so annoying. I can never do it correctly, but definitely much better to what current patch is. This is a quicker way through Celia. Just climb up these. We need to do it again later for the uh, Nox duo. So I do do this twice. But that was... Pretty decent. I will take it. Oh yeah, that was actually all right. And apparently a gold. Earning a bit of time back. I just need to make sure I don't mess up this Divine Tower Pegasus. Because this one loses quite a lot of time if you die to it. Like, if you fall off the edge setting it up, it loses quite a lot. I also find it funny how I've golded three of the first, like, seven splits. It's so, like, this is, like, with the exception of that one death to Rykard, this is, like, my best early game, so... Which I guess just makes that death even more annoying. Anyway, I need to get this bug. So... No, not this way. Lovely. And yeah, this Pegasus is really scary. Because you need to stand a certain distance from the edge, but it's really difficult to tell where that point is. So I'm going to say about there 
which might not be far enough, but we'll see. Yeah. So it's so temperamental. Then if you go even the slightest bit too far, you just get knocked off. I probably shouldn't have put Torrent there. Because most Pegasus, you'd like, you yourself can just walk off the edge. So it's really easy to set up because, say, you just walk off the edge. But these ones where you have to, like, stand a certain distance are really scary. Well, we got it. Losing quite a bit of time, but... I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I, I, I just need to earn this time back on Sonaf. It's 24, 24, L1, L1 up. The wrong warp. Okay. So that goes to 24, that goes to 24. L1, L1 up. I lost about 17 seconds. Eh. Could have been worse. We'd lost a lot more dying. So just one more thing to get on set up, which is Sonaf, and then go and upgrade it to plus nine, and start deleting things. Then walk off out there. So with the exception of that one death on ride card, which probably shouldn't have happened if I was just slightly more careful, then this has actually been a cracked setup. I haven't really lost much time anywhere. We're going to be saving most of the minutes back here. That does a lot of damage. So we pretty much saved it back. I should have potential to be a sub-30 setup without that Rykard death. Let's upgrade Sonaf. 
that goes on there, and then Stormhill Shack. I actually need that golden seed. It's not a very good way to start, say that much. change it tonight, sit down again, and then the bell bearing hunter will spawn in. That's the death, elf bird, death bird. And then we have to go and kill Alexander, sadly. Sadly, the talisman is just too good. And there's a few bosses around Saints Bridge. Then we uh, get the Physic Flask and do some cleanup in Leonia. Get Physic Flask, Storm Veil, Leonia, and get the Curse Mark. And then Bloodhound Step. And then that's basically all the setup done for well, about another hour and a bit. There's no point like rushing to go and get Bloodhound Step now because it doesn't actually save that much time. Like over long distances it does, but shorter distances it doesn't actually save that much. Is there any time saved in these dungeons you probably lose having to make the trip back to kill like the Black Blade Kindred or whatever? the assassin okay let's see if I remember which way to go in this dungeon I think every run I've gone the wrong way so let's see if I finally learnt If I finally learnt which way I need to go here. I 
Uh, this way. Looks like I have learned. Okay, this is literally pitch black, I cannot see. Okay, so to the Guardian Golem. I'm still in combat. No, I'm not. I just got out of combat, which means I don't have to quit out here. How have I golded this many splits already? I do not understand. So as long as I don't mess the Godric bit up or mess like anything massive between that, then we should be ahead at that point. But there is still a lot I can mess up. Like if the Tibia Mariner is really annoying. Or if these dudes are really annoying. So I need to quit out. So I need to get the Tibby Mounter, pick up the Physic Flask, and then some more setup within Leonia. So imbued sword keys, physics stuff, and then getting blood hand step from the knight's cavalry. Okay, please give me a good spawn. Don't run off to your corner okay that's that's like the third or fourth time in a row that's happened so there's got to be something I'm doing that's causing it to always spawn there I should probably look at that. So I was trying to look over there to like make it spawn closer, but it didn't work. So uh, where am I going? I completely forgot where I was going there. 
Because we're wrong warping up. Go and get Godric. So I have a minute 37 here. So if all goes well, we could be ahead. Be very careful about this Pegasus, because this, this is another of the ones where... I mean, I'm walking off an edge, but I could very easily get pushed off with Torrent. Which is what happened in my PB. please perfect let's see if I can save enough to be ahead I'm going to go with no because I just batted about with Torrent for god knows how long. There we might be. We are ahead. And we're behind. I did this last one as well, where I was too late on this wrong warp. I did that exact same thing last run. That didn't even kill him. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that to just not kill him. Note self, get closer to market for that. Yep, this is all live. This is me right now trying not to screw things up in PB. I haven't done any runs for about a year and then the past couple of weeks I've come back to them to try and get a PB because of how awful it is. Because for 165 bosses... Uh, an average of two minutes per boss is five and a half hours. So I missed out on that by four and a half minutes. So I want to try and get that sub 530. At the very least, and then 
I mean, with some other route changes, I do think sub 5 is possible. With adding in a few things here and there and mixing the route up a bit, I do think sub 5 will be possible in the long run. Okay, I had to double jump there. That's okay. I mean, you don't really need to play Elden Ring for um, any of the Dark Souls games first. Because Elden Ring has... So it has so many different ways to approach it that it is probably the most welcoming to a new player just because of how many ways there are to approach it. Like, in in Souls games, it's very easy to get to a point, like, to get to a boss, and then you are stuck until you beat that boss. Like, you cannot progress further in the game until you've killed that boss. But Elden Ring has... Like, it's very, very few times where that actually happens. Where it's like you cannot progress until you kill this one enemy. And also with, like, spirit ashes and all of that stuff. And I would still highly recommend playing all the Dark Souls games. They're all very good and... In my opinion... Dark Souls 3 might be better than Elden Ring, casually, but so Elden Ring is still a very good game to play first. Okay, Vanala time. Please give me good spawns. That's good enough. What are you doing? Okay, that is not what I wanted to happen. She's probably gonna summon now. Okay, what is going on? I could be in trouble here because Renala didn't do what she's supposed to, which is nothing. But how have I not got a stagger? And how did that not hit you? How much time did that lose? Forty seconds. Great. And I also couldn't warp straight away because of the and Yeah, I mean Dark Souls three was my first Souls game. So it's... It might still be my favourite, probably just because of that nostalgia. Because of how much it destroyed me. So I, I came to Souls... Okay, I might get killed here. I came to Souls games after only playing, like, Mario and Zelda. 
So the first few bosses, well, actually just all of the bosses in Dark Souls 3, just absolutely destroyed me. But then, so it was still a lot of fun, and then after that you get into all the other games. And yeah, I mean, Elden Ring does have a really big variety of builds, but also, like, I guess after a casual playthrough in Elden Ring, you can probably pretty much be a high enough level that you could just use them all on one file. Like, if, if you do, like, New Game Plus, by the time you've done, like, one or two New Game Pluses, you can be high enough level to pretty much use whatever you want. So I, I, I probably prefer doing new game pluses over starting new playthroughs. So all of the bosses are sort of scaled a similar way. Whereas with like new games, it's very easy to just like overrun a couple of early game bosses. On New Game Plus, you can't really do that. Although for a challenge, what I like doing on like Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, these sorts of games, is starting a new game and then doing the DLC straight away. St doing all the DLC bosses, whatever was like, as early as possible. How far through Dark Souls 3 are you? Like, if you just started, or... Because, like... And it, it also sort of depends on what playstyle you want. Because the thing with all the other Souls games definitely is... Like, in, in Elden Ring, boss attacks have a lot of delay. Like, Elden Ring boss attacks have very long delays, but... In Dark Souls 3, or like in other Souls games, they're a lot shorter. I mean, it's, it's probably about the same speed as Elden Ring, like in terms of pace of combat. I'd say because bosses telegraph their attack, or like they don't hang them around. Uh, 32... Flask, or two, you and you. Uh, I mean, it, so it depends what sort of build you want, because, I mean, actually, I think Dark Souls 3 is really good in the sense that all of the builds are quite balanced. Honestly, I'd probably say just sort of... So, especially compared to Elden Ring, bosses do not hang around in attacks. Like they, they attack much quicker. And they their combos are a lot shorter, so they're much more... You, you have much more opportunities to get attacks off. Like in Elden Ring, a lot of the time you sort of have to hang around and wait for the boss to finish its massive combo and then get one hit in, but 
Dark, Dark Souls 3 is a lot more sort of they do one attack, you do one attack, they do, you do, back and forth. Okay, who are you? So it's, it's definitely a lot more linear than Elden Ring, but there are still there's still enough places where if you get stuck somewhere, you can go off and find other items. Okay, where am I going? The only highway north. The other thing I'd say is don't invest in Vigor as much as in Elden Ring. Because in Elden Ring, like, once you get to late game, if you don't have, like, 50 Vigor, you're in trouble. But in other Souls games, that's not really an issue and you can get away with sort of around 30 for pretty much the entire game. Okay, that night's cavalry was annoying. Need to go and set up Pegasus. I wish Jarberg didn't exist because you could set up Pegasus so much closer to the tower. Yeah, take care. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoy continuing that playthrough. Hopefully you'll get some more bosses under your belt. Okay. Yeah, Dark Souls 3 is a really fun game, so definitely worth playing. Right, so now I need to get this Mariner. Please? No. Oh, I, f I don't have FP. How does that not... Okay, that was a big mistake. I completely forgot that I used it all on the cavalry. Yes, that cavalry and mountain are pretty awful. And then I need to climb up here to get the curse mark, which we need later to unlock Forter's Axe. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm supposed to be up here.
I think that might have been a bit slow because I kind of forgot where I was supposed to be. Scroll down on my route. Now we go and get um, Bloodhound Step, which I can I can save some time on the Knight's Cavalry if I don't mess up the cheese, which I did I think twice yesterday. I messed up the cheese. Hopefully, I don't do that. Okay, I said this was slow. Apparently it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just realised why I didn't one-shot the Tibia Mariner. Because I had forgotten to put on the Voyage Arshard. But that would have been very useful to have worked out about half an hour ago. Okay, I have about 25 seconds. If I don't get... If I don't get tagged on my way. Because in order to do the cheese, I need to ride past the cavalry. So hopefully I don't get hit on the way, because it's just a one-shot. Okay, I've got vaguely in position. And now we just spam quit outs until he jumps off the edge. We don't need to spam quit outs. So honestly, with the exception of a Rykard death, this has actually been a really good run so far. So I said, just kind of makes that death even more depressing. Thinking that it could have been such a good run apart from that. Oh, I guess and Vanala kind of trolled me, but that wasn't my fault. That was just Renala. Can we get our first outing with Bloodhound Step? I'm hoping that Sion doesn't jump. Lovely. Honestly, probably lost time there from drinking the physic because I don't actually know if you need to.
And now we get to start what is my least favourite section of the run. The first trip to underground. Absolutely hate this part. Oh, that was relatively clean. Let's get this Somber 5. Which you will use for Ice Wind. And then we start lighting all the torches for the ancestor spirits hoping the followers don't decide to snipe us which the past couple of runs they have very much enjoyed doing like that And I have four heals. Yes, also I have the physic. Uses heal if I need it. So I'm going to warp before any bosses, so I'll get it back. Okay, if these rats can not lock me in, thank you. But once I'm once I'm past Fia's champs, there's I guess a small break in Things I'm very scared of until sort of Radan mountain tops. So after Fierce Champs, we get a small break in being nervous of everything. I don't, know, I don't have the physics, I use it for Dragonkin, don't I? I just need to hope that I don't get sniped by everything. Because yeah, I use it here. Okay, this is the scary one. Like uh, this ancestor lighting all the torches is far scarier than Regal Ancestor. So I might be taking some very, very wide lines to try and run past enemies. Oh, 
part of me wonders if I should get the grace for absolute safety because this is a pretty decent run. I wonder if I should get it, but it's just in there if I want it. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk not getting this grace. There goes one heal. I'm going to get sniped here on my way to this one. At least I was supposed to. Unless I'm just going to get double teamed now. Honestly, the fact that this is a four minute boss is so just weird. So like going for like two minute kills on average and then this one takes four minutes. And it's not like the setup where... So I mean in setup we kill four bosses in half an hour but we're doing other things on the way. Like all we're doing here is getting this boss and I'm dead. It's because of that one snipe. That one snipe before the ball started shooting at me. Okay, so I got six of them. I got six of them, so I just need to get the last two. That actually means I could probably take the teleporter. But I do want to see how much time this has cost. But... Okay, so I think I can take the teleporter because I just need the last two. So where actually is the teleporter? There. Okay, so normally it's the followers, like the archers, that are the annoying ones, but turns out today it was all the balls. That was almost very bad. Like if I died a second time there... If I died a second time there, that would have been awful. OK, 
I need to see how much time this lost. It'll be somewhere around the minute and a half to two minute region. Okay, please do your triple jump. Do your triple jump. He's not doing it. Why do I have to get bad RNG on top of this? Okay, so I lost a minute 50. Which, if I'm being honest, isn't as much as I expected. Then I need to remember to not use the Physic here because I want to use it for Gargoyles. So I want to save it here. A triple jump. Thank you. Then follows up with really bad attacks. You suck. I swear it's got a few heal. That's another almost half a minute gone. As I said, Underground is an absolute bitch and my least favourite part of the run. So I've already lost almost two and a half minutes here. I have three heals, I have one refill of FP. So the gargoyles better behave. Please let me do easy strat. Don't do your breath. Okay, I fell down, but it's okay. I still don't know how you're supposed to dodge that. Uh, you save time. You save time and it was first try, so I still have Pegasus. So that's a tiny bit extra time save in Deep Root as well. Honestly, I'll take it. It also means that looking at that, that my gargoyle's gold can definitely be improved. Oh, 
go through here. Not high enough for that branch. And next is to see if I've remembered the Fierce Champ strat. No, let, let me off. So 15 mind. And then get dogs. I was too late. Holy damn. Okay, can the dogs actually help? <laughs> uh, this is an actual run. I mean... Honestly, outside of like three places, it's actually been pretty good. Maybe four places. So, if everything goes well, I'm going to be sat here for another like five hours. Though, given how underground just went, but I kind of expected that. I also need to rest at the grace in order to get my FP back. Okay, so I'm going to lose more time here. Then probably some to Morgoth, and then... I mean, the, pl the place to save time back is the Darn, and then Mountaintops. Let me say, this one's still perfectly fine. Like... I'm not even two minutes behind when compared to the other ones I've done at this point I've been like eight minutes behind or ten behind or something. So it's still a very good run, it's just annoying that I probably lost about like two and a half, three minutes to just RNG in enemies or bosses. As far as like me myself, I've only really made one mistake that I can think of so far. 
which was dying to a card. Yeah. So Pex is to gold three. I I did actually want to check. I'm not gonna check it during the run, but probably after the run I actually want to check if you can maybe kill so like how with Red Wolf we kill him on Pegasus so that we still have Torrent to get to Renala faster. I wanted to see if maybe you could do a similar thing with Gold Free towards Morgot. But so I'll test it after. I don't think it will work. Because first of all, he'll be active, unlike Red Wolf. And second, the wolf dies in like six hits. Gold Free definitely won't. So I don't think it will be faster, but it'll be worth checking. And I still have my double jump, so we should be okay to land on ground. We get up here and land. A, a lot of the glitches you're seeing here are fixed. This is patch. 1.02.3 So this patch came out like not long after release and then a lot of the things here have been patched like Pegasus and Wrong Warping all of this sort of stuff is gone even like even regening stamina faster by crouching is gone so Should probably see when this black knife wakes up. I was just getting that grace for safety because last one I died here. Yeah, doing this is patched. Just for some reason. I honestly don't know why they got rid of that. I haven't tried to run on latest patch, but pretty much because I think it would be absolutely awful. Because just because of how big the game is, like, so even if you take, even if you take away how overpowered, like, Sword of Night and Flame or Ice to Attach it, this sort of thing is, just the travel time between bosses. Uh, where am I going? Dragon Barrow. Like just, just the travel time between bosses would be ridiculously high, like without Pegasus or Wrong Warp. And they also nerfed Bloodhound Step. I forgot they did that. Yeah, there, there are a ton of things that they just patched or nerfed for like that didn't really affect anything. Like crouch stamina regen did not affect anyone, but it still just get rid of it. No. Nope.
Uh, clean what drew I? Where the hell are they? They're down here. We're going to get these guys now because the reward for killing these guys is the gold scarab, which gives a 20% increase to rune drops. So a pretty useful item, which we'll be wearing. We'll be wearing pretty much for the rest of the run. Okay, now where do I go? I do not know where I'm going. Oh no, I wasn't supposed... Was I supposed to use the physic there? Hmm. So fog gate should be here. Apparently I lost 40 seconds here. Um, kill them, sell your crystal tunnel. Get 41 in. It's now Melina comes and gives us the roll medallion. Because we didn't get it after Morgot. There we go. Get a ton of int. This part of Kaled is relatively relaxing until we get to the, you get Deathrite Bird into Knight's Cavalry, into Exikes, pretty much into Radan, and then straight to Mountaintop. So that part is really not, but here we have a small section that is maybe slightly easier if that isn't happening I mean I'm sure I'll still lose a ton of time doing this but geez loading times So I take you, I take Physic, I open door and equip the Scarab. See, I'm losing time here, but oh well. Let's just walk up to the Falling Star Beast and do that. Is this where we need to climb up this again to get to the Nox Duo? Again, very clean, okay. And yeah, the majority of 
things in this one are going to be one shot. But it's not really until we get to mountain tops and calids for the second time that we're going to not one shot things. Apart from like the main, apart from like the major bosses. So you hop over here for O'Neill. And then Deathlight Birds Cavalry X Sykes is not a fun sequence. So if there's ever a place I'm going to start using Chainsaw other than Rykard, it's going to be for Deathrite Birds. And also, where am I going? So in, in my opinion, they're the hardest bosses in the game. And it's also very annoying that of the four of them, you have one in Mountaintops and one in Snowfield which are very highly scaled, so you can't one-shot them. But at least the one in Lyurnia, and sometimes this one, you can one-shot if you hit them correctly. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Probably should have been slightly more careful avoiding the... F oh, and I have... To and this is also the worst part about night bosses, is that every time you die, the game sets time to day. I'm actually going to go and get these runes. I don't care about how much time I'm losing, I need to get these. I definitely haven't found everything in the game, like, I mean, even casually, there are still a lot of things that I just, like, weapons that I haven't found yet, or just... Because honestly, there are even, like... There are full parts of dungeons that I just missed casually. So I think recently I was like playing through and I searched for something and I found a and there was a part of Stormvale that I just never found. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Uh, we're still about two minutes behind. I'm trying to remember how much save there is on Radan.
I'm pretty sure we're done. I have sort of around two minutes. Also, don't know why I get that grace. I, I should stop getting the grace because I should be able to just take the dungeon warp out. Which would be much faster. Okay, why am I still fat rolling? Oh, the scarab... Yeah, I forgot you had to do that. I mean, I still do, like, play this game casually, occasionally. I just sort of... play through to try out a build. But, I mean, e even speedrunning-wise, there are still... Like, there's still quite a few ideas I have, like, especially for this run, that I'm testing and, like, looking for extra time saves that I think could work. Like, there are a few reroutes that could work, but I just need to find, like, one more time save for it to be viable sort of thing. Like, speedrun-wise, there's still... A lot to be done with this. Like, especially just with the addition of Chainsaw. This one would be a lot faster. I mean, th there are lots of things we don't give a chance to do their move, but... <laughs> like, most bosses up to this point haven't had a chance to attack, so... <laughs> I guess Cemetery Shade is kind of funny how they just sort of, like, instead of waiting for you to come to them and shoot them with Sonaf, they just sort of teleport towards you. Lovely. He was so excited to get closer to show off some of his attacks that I just didn't give it a chance. I can't actually remember how many cemetery shades are in this game. I've killed two. I think there's there's at least another one, but Okay, time for a bit of focus. Pre-nerf Radan. Easy. Okay, that was another slightly scary part dealt with. Then Radan got to do a whole one attack at me. Fire Smarrows gets to do one combo and then he's just gone. Yeah, that, that just shows how completely broken Sword of Night and Flame was before they nerfed it. Actually, if I'm being honest, it wasn't really Sword of Night and Flame, it was Royal Knight's Resolve. Because it was bugged, but it gave... It was bugged and it gave a 80% that, but it gives an 80% damage boost normally, 
but it gave it to um, basically whatever weapon you were holding. It didn't have to be the weapon with it applied, which is probably the main thing. Because, I mean, and anything is going to look pretty busted with an 80% damage boost. Okay, Capital Rampart. Where the hell is that? <laughs> now we get into the next scary part. Forbidden lands can go very badly. I, I could first try both of these bosses, or I could be here for 10 minutes. Hopefully it's the first one of those. Save just one death to either of these, no. Maybe be pined again? Or not, because apparently I lost a minute and a half here. Okay, well seriously, like, both, both of these bosses one-shot me. And they both take multiple hits to kill. Because na now... So even the first trip to mountain tops, we're not one shotting everything. It's so both of them take multiple hits to kill, so and they one shot me, so it could be very bad. And the knight's cavalry doesn't have a stake; it's quite far away. And being a knight boss, if you die, you have to change the time back. But it's very easy to lose a lot of time to this guy. Just quit out there, which gets rid of the Pegasus. Because Forbidden Lands goes downhill. So I, otherwise I would like ride above the cavalry. But it's not really a one-shot battle because I can't one-shot hip. <laughs> we can definitely try. Okay, here we go. Is this in range? Holy shit, that was the cleanest fight ever. <laughs> okay, tell a lie. That was ridiculous. <laughs> all, all I'll say is that fight is not supposed to go that well. I'm definitely out of range. Yeah, this is more like it. Still first try though.
think I don't want to say anything until we're like past Elden Beast, which is bot Elden Beast is boss number sixty one of one hundred and sixty five. So once we're past Elden Beast and we're into like the cleanup of just going round bosses, maybe I might start being a bit more confident in the run. But before then, I can easily lose multiple minutes to any boss. Like Borealis Vike, Fire Giant, Loretta, Melania, Mog, Deathrite Birds, Persidious Axe. Like that, there's still a lot. And I've also just remembered that I forgot to buy Stone Sword Key. So I am one Stone Sword Key down. I, th I think the smartest thing will be to go and buy that specific key. Because before the Caled Knight's Cavalry, the merchant that is there I'm supposed to buy a key from. So I think the best thing to do will be later on when we get to Kaelid's clean up to just go and buy it. So I don't think there's a faster key. Actually, I guess I could. There's also a key in the Dragon Ruins in Limgrave, which I could maybe pick up on the way to Agil. So I, I could get one of those two keys. I honestly think the Dragon Ruins one might be faster. Yeah, a nice part of just running around through mountain tops. Honestly, this region could be like 70% of its current size and you wouldn't miss anything. Okay, so how many have I got? So I have five. I think I've already... Have I already used any? Can't remember. But we get like 16 across the run total. Okay, let's get that. I mean, yeah, it is still a massive game. It's crazy how it is so big, but it's like mountain tops does not need to be this big. I think like my one of my biggest complaints with Elden Ring is if anything it's too big. Like the amount of travel time between each little thing. Okay, Spirit Cooler's cave. And now we fight Borealis. One of the scariest dragons. Wherever it is. So like with Exikes, I'm going to quit out by its feet, which should give me a bit more time to buff up before it starts attacking.
Okay, pretty damn clean. It just makes me nervous that I'm golding all of these. I think it's like some sort of shockwave or something. Like it, 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 it kind of makes sense that dragon a hundred times my size, stomping its foot on the ground two feet away from me, would cause like a shockwave. Okay, so then we need to go this way. Uh, yeah, so now we pretty much just run to Fire Giant. I mean... Like, the thing with FromSoft games is, is that's probably wrong. Like, the thing with FromSoft games is that, really, the bigger the boss, the closer you want to be to it. So... <laughs> Although, yeah, not going under its feet is useful advice to not get stomped. Generally speaking, for From bosses... It's probably actually not the best. <laughs> That's true in pretty much every game they've done. Like the bigger the boss, the closer you want to be to it. And now we hope that the giant hand doesn't ruin us. I'm going to get this grace for safety. Like the fact I'm almost three minutes ahead this run is too good to start like risking like five second time saves. A fire giant scoop. What oh, that didn't break it? How did that not break it? If you say so, game. Okay, where does he put his hands? Okay, we've made it through mountain tops.
First need to level up a bunch. Yeah. Flasks for three and talk to Melina. I have long this world and death are you to commit. Very let I have. So now is the next like setup y part. Where you basically play through the rest of the main story, uh upgrade Ice Wind Hatchet, get some weapons for stance swaps, which is a glitch to save time in a lot of dungeons. And then basically once this bit of setup is done, we're on to just starting to go around bosses and pick them off one by one. You also need to remember to pick up the bell bearing here. Or like after this part, the somber bearing to buy the plus eight. That's all my FP gone. We've run past all of these. Make sure to get this. And then pick up these sombers along the way. There's a 7 there, and then there's a 9 just down here, which will get our Ice Wind up to plus 9, which we will use. We'll use Ice Wind for bosses that are either magic resistant, potentially too fast to get any Sonaf beams off, or just for general area damage. Now we pick up Roger's armor. We do a bunch of crit outs basically until it spawns. And then we get a very not fun boss. Okay, there's the armor. And we go to Freezing Lake. So yeah, so this is one of the two like really highly scaled death right birds. That are too highly scaled to be able to one shot. So it's a pretty scary part. Uh, you, 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 you. But this is one of the bosses where it's just like, as long as I first try it, I'm happy. There are a few like that, like Death Rites and Knights Cavalries in general, like Rykard. There are a few bosses where it's just, as long as I first try, I'll take it. Doesn't really matter how bad the fight is.
Okay, here we go. One of the hardest parts of the run, this one boss. I would love to be closer. And another gold. And now we skip down into Snowfield. Without needing to get the medallion. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this one is going far too well. Like it's it's my fourth run back. It should not be going this well. And we have two minutes of time save here. And we then have, on the Loretta split, four and a half minutes. We've got four and a half minutes on Loretta. Because that was to the, there's a parry skip you can do. I just realised I should have practised one somewhere else. But anyway, there's a parry skip you can do in Halic Tree where you parry a misbegotten and then use it to drop down. And in my PB I spent four and a half minutes on it. Okay, so I go here. I need to jump across to here and hope Matey runs off the edge above me. I mean, I, I have done some Secro runs. Like, I've done some challenge runs. I've done some no-hit runs of... I've done no-hit, no-damage runs of, like, the two main endings. Then I've also done a few speed runs here and there. I'm not very good at speed running it, but... I've done the occasional speed run of it. Have I got enough height for this? I must do, right? Yeah, I do. Yes, yeah, so we Pegasus here to get over to Mog. I want to lure this guy off the edge. So I can come in and pick up this Sombre 10. I mean, that's one of the things I really like about Sekro No Hit. I mean, speed runs are only like half an hour long, but Sekro No Hit, like even 
like a full run from Shura, the shortest ending only takes like 40 minutes. It's very nice because if you do get hit, you only lose like 40 minutes compared to Elden Ring where you'd lose like potentially a couple hours. Okay, please let me up. Okay, why can I not do this? Just let me up. No. Stand on that. There. Run and jump. Oh my god. Thank you. That was really not worth losing however long that was to. By looks fit about a minute. Okay, uh, okay, tell like more than a minute. Okay, that bit didn't happen. That was just a slight glitch in the recording. Okay, four stone sword keys and somber eight. Uh, so patches, get that stone sword key. Those three. Oh, and I need to give that. That bell bearing. No, nope. what the hell am I doing? Somber eight. Road to the manor. That was very scuffed. Uh, I'm pretty sure we buy these, upgrade that to plus 10 and that's plus 9. Okay, now I'm in the bit that I can't remember what I'm doing. Okay, after this is Ordina skip. Look, give me a chance to attack. Holy crap. Okay, Ordina skip. is here. Yeah, as you can see on this split I have um four and a half minutes of time save.
because of how long I spent trying to do the parry fall, which I am not doing this run. I'm not doing it this run. I'm just going to go the normal way. It doesn't save that much time, and I haven't practiced it at all. So I could potentially spend another four and a half minutes trying to get it, which I don't want to do. Just mind all the ants. And also this dude. Okay. Just rest here for safety. And like get all my stuff back. You want to drop down here and then land on this. This is not very convincing, I'll be honest. Just gonna get this for safety. And then we go for Loretta. like that we saved 4 minutes 28 <laughs> so yes we're now almost 10 minutes ahead I'm in for you use this remembrance or not here. I'm just gonna do it. And into L file. Just quit out for safety. Okay, so I want to make sure I don't level above 51 int. Because I want to make sure that I don't over damage prestigious acts for the kill we're going to do. So 51 int, 24 mine. And now we get one of the best skips in the game, which, just like everything else fun in this game, got patched. Walk over here and then walk off the edge.
and now that elevator will be up and we can just take it down to Melania and skip the entirety of our file. So I'm going to get the grace for obvious safety reasons, given it is Melania. And I'm going to drink that, drink the flask, and then try not to mess this up. So RKO and dodge around her. Instant beam. She didn't get knocked down. Now we have a slight issue. It's not really an issue, it just means that it's going to take a bit longer. So I just need to do fires like that. Please stop running towards me. Hey, phase two. I... I didn't have any stamina. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, can you please go for your Ionia again? <sighs> okay, Melania dealt with. Bit sketchy. <sighs> Slightly sketchy. And now we need to go and get her weapon. Because it's going to be useful for some skips in various dungeons. And a Melania. Dragon Temple. Now we get Godskin Duo. Again, pre nerf. This is a patch where uh, duo bosses fought like two individual bosses instead of a duo fight. Okay, please fuck off. Whatever. Good enough. So now we get to show off stance swapping.
which is a glitch that basically allows you to do a ton of skips midair to save a ton of time. So we can do it here. And we can also do it in a ton of like catacombs and dungeons. Uh, Melania. You can skip the entire bird section doing that. Okay, now I need to take that off. I need to level Vigor. I need to call that. So the idea is we're going to hit Placidious Axe and then hopefully get a stagger before it warps away. So the idea is that normally it tries to warp away and like teleport sites phase 2. The idea is to stagger it just before that and then be able to kill it without it ever warping away. But the reason I haven't gone above 51 int and you're also going to take off some of these other buffs is that um, if you damage it too much, then it will just warp away instantly. So the thing we're trying to do is damage it enough that we can kill it, but low enough that it's not going to instantly warp, which is why I'm going to also take off my armour. I also need to make sure I get this right because it's a really long run back. Okay, here we go. It is slightly RNG dependent as well. And we got it. That's not the right grace. That is... Why can't I warp? What the fuck? Um, hello? I think I know, hang on. Oh my god, do I really have to do this? What? No, the fuck was still there. What has happened? I think it's trying to lock me in here because I haven't touched the earth tree, so I can only really think of one thing to do. You, I can't... Memory of Grace. I was going to say I can wrong warp out, but I can't. What has happened? 
try quitting out resting. Okay, I'm going to go up to the fog wall. I cannot get through it. They let me up, please. I don't know what's happened. Like if I touch the Erd tree, will it work? No, I still can't warp. I go and sit here now. Okay, now I can. That was all because I accidentally warped to this grace instead of Capital Rampart. Because I accidentally did that, I've lost like two minutes. Well, that's a nice way to lose two minutes. So we need to kill the tree sentinel now because it despawns after Malaketh. So we want to go and kill Malaketh now, so we have to quickly pick him off. That is really not a nice way to lose two minutes. It's such an avoidable thing as well. I literally just walked to the wrong race. So we're going to go and get the grace for this dungeon. But again, we're not going to do this one because we're going to come back after Elden Beast. Because, like the stance swap in Farum, we can do one with Marika's Hammer to skip some stuff here. Okay, after that, after that slightly annoying thing that happens, just losing two minutes warping to the wrong race, we are off to Malaketh. Okay, come on. Easy. Okay, so that's Malaketh down. And now we go into the sewers for Esgar and Mog.
we need to drop down here. I need to get this grace. And then we can drop all the way down to Lanedale Catacombs. drop down here need to go and pick up Mog Shackle these guys are being really annoying Well, we kind of got away with it. And now that Placidious Axe is dead, we can begin levelling intelligence again. So I want to get up to seven, up to 65. And then with that talisman, we'll have 70. This is a really annoying catacomb to go through. This and Giant's Mountain Tops are the ones that are like labyrinth style ones of like re multiple rooms of the same like structure and look. made it through and then we can get to the lever and go and fight Esgar This is another boss that we're going to be using Ice Wind Hatchet for. Because there are also two dogs in here. Okay, now we're going to Mog. So we're going to do another stance swap so that we don't have to run through the entire sewer system. We're going to stance swap across this gap here so that we don't have to run through everything. And then we're pretty much at the end. And drop in here. Take this path, and there should be somewhere to fall down. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to get the grace, but I don't think I need it.
something just as a fail safe. And then after Mog, we go and fight Gideon. I'm not entirely sure how that didn't kill. There we go. I keep warping to the wrong races. I don't want Catacombs, I want Capital of Ash. So yes, now we just run through the final few bosses, Gideon, Horlu, Elden Beast. And then we're pretty much on to starting cleanup. Get to Gideon. RKR. Sonaf and then a jump R2. Should finish him off. Just like that. Guess I could probably use those here, but whatever. Okay, so Horlu, Elden Beast, and then just Ari's a side tomb, Ari's a hero's grave, and we're on to clean up. So I'm going to get all my flasks and everything back. Like with Morgoth, I'm going to enter the fight and then quit out. But this is just so we really get a particular opening. We don't want that opening that he started with there. So I want him to do his like flying attack. but not get hit by it. Okay, I'll be honest, this has gone pretty badly. I don't really know what I'm doing on this fight.
what he's supposed to do in phase one is he goes for his big like sort of phase 1.5 stomp attack which you use but he just didn't do it That hit me. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Another minute gone. Okay, Vadigan Elden Beast time. That's Radigan. Then hopefully we get the AI break. Which I didn't. It's also how I lost time in PB. But he should go for Elden Stars next, which will give me time to kill him. Okay, well Elden Beast is dead. And we're not even not even halfway through. Uh don't touch that. Get the grace. Yeah, so now we go and get Marika's Hammer, which can stance swap slightly further than Hand of Melania. It can stance swap slightly further, and there's actually two places currently where this can reach, but Hand of Melania can't. And this is one of those places. So the lever is there. And then you just run across to it like that. I don't know when I should be taking Physic or RKR or any of this stuff, so I'm just going to do it for pretty much everything. Okay, and now Ariza Hero's Grave, which is the double Crucible Knight one. This could be fun.
Then once I'm through this one here, we're just on to clean up. The only thing is I can't really remember where you go in this one. Okay, it's this one, yeah. I now remember where you go. So you just sort of need to go back and forth here, trying not to... Oh, I'm out of flasks. Okay, that was probably a bit stupid of me. Probably a bit stupid of me to use all of that. And I don't have my physic either. Yeah, I might have to die to these guys to replenish my stuff. Okay, can this guy just die? There we go. Warp Stranded Graveyard. We're on to clean up. I need to remember that I'm still down a stone sword key. Okay, so yes, we've done all of like the really difficult stuff and then we should now have a bit of a break until sort of underground altus sort of area. This shouldn't catch me. No. Although these dudes are probably going to be annoying. Okay, I'll straight to tree spirit. I'm just going to quit out. And then we go to first step. Right. First step for the tree sentinel. And then demi humans.
Uh, Demi humans, Agil, Stone Digger. Yes, now I, I really need to check my route because I don't know which way I'm doing all of these. In which order? Though, given this is Limgrave, they shouldn't do too much damage. So into here. Then go and get the one over here. Then warp to first step. Okay, so this is where I am going to go and get the stone sword key. So I'm going to lose some time here because I need to go and pick up the stone sword key. Because I missed another one earlier. Also now at the point where it's going to be testing how many of these dungeons I can actually remember. So in here... Yes, that costs like 25 seconds, but that's what I get for forgetting about it earlier. Uh, Stone Digger Troll, and then Stormhill Shack to Crucible Knight. Pretty sure it's this way. So this is really going to be a test of what stuff I remember. I think it's just down here. Yes. Okay. So we get this dude, and then we go to Stormhill Shack to the Ever Jail. Stormhill Shack, Crucible Knight. Beastman, Watchdog. So yeah. Just into the sort of part of the run where it's just walk to Grace, ride to boss, kill boss, walk to next Grace, ride to boss, kill boss. And repeat for pretty much the last hundred bosses. So we get that. Crucible Knight.
Okay, so I need to drop down the thing and run left. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I went, the, I went the very wrong way. So drop down here and enter this cave. And I need to find where the warp is. It's there. Okay, I'm slowly bleeding time here, it seems, but... Actually, no, I do have the stance swap here. So none of those stance swaps is here with Marika's hammer. At least I believe it's this one. So let's get Malchus Hammer on there. Sonaf there. So I believe it's this. This one's a lot more precise than the uh, other one though. But there's not as much space for error. At least I think it's this one. Yes, it is. And we made it. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty big gold. Okay, and Agile Lake North. So we need to get this cavalry, cavalry, pumpkin head, dower wheel, okay. Pumpkin head, I'm going to use Ice Wind. then go over to Darawil, who is up there somewhere, up there. And I think on the next split I actually died like the... Um, trying to jump down, so I think I have some time saved there. So 
to get Dabber Wheel. Yeah, I have a minute 20 here. Okay, so I kill the cavalry and then I need to get the stone sword key. Is this another one I need to make sure I don't miss? Uh, which way exactly am I going? There was some that time saver's gone, so I just forgot which way I was going. I'm assuming I get that. Okay, yeah, I do. And then cavalry and get the stones or key from that merchant as well. Hello, Arena. Because I should be good on stone sword keys at this point. Death right bird, I cannot remember where it is. Not death right bird, just death bird. Don't think it's up here. I oh, know it's over here. Oh my god. Jeez, just let me get an attack off. Okay, Leonine. So I need to go and set up a Pegasus here. Then I walk off here without And then we can just run right, we can just run straight to the Leonine. There's an invisible wall here, which is why we have to sort of run around like that. Then we walk Bridge of Sacrifice. So I, I now am just reading from this route all the time. 
I, I don't know where I'm going at each point, so... Just got the route open. That gets us into here. So this is one of the dungeons where like a routing thing I'm trying could end up being faster. Because the lever is just up in that window. There's a few ways of getting up there that I'm trying. Uh, this is the one where you go underneath. So yeah, so all of this sort of going round is basically to get to lever and then we just jump out of the window. So there are a few ways on this patch that I'm trying out. There's one way that's very close that could save like 25 seconds. Can this say watchdog? with some friends. Runebear. I can remember how to get up here. I can remember how to get through this cave as well. Because, yeah, a lot of these caves, I... Because, like, while I've practiced a lot of the main part of the run and I've done all that, a lot of these caves I haven't actually been in for about a year. Maybe longer, so... I don't really know where I'm going. Is it this way? But where, 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 what the... Okay, here we are. And then the shade in Tombswood avatar Okay, so just sort of cleaning up the top half of, I guess the bottom half of um, Peninsula. I think there is a time save you can do in this one with like Pegasus or something. But I can't remember. I don't think it ends up being faster. I, I could be wrong, so. And I do want to get the grace because we need to walk back here for like Miranda and the um, Ever Jail.
I think there's a way you can carry Pegasus to get to that lever faster. Is this the one where you jump up here? I believe it is. I don't actually know where the boss is though. Is it right here or is it further? No, it is further. I'm not really sure what he was doing. Or standing still. I probably also should have warped here instead of... Because I'm quite low on FP. I think I might have to get the grace in the scaly cave. Oh my god, just... I mean, I should one-shot the Misbegotten. I'm also surprised that worked. Actually, I don't think I need to. I, I can just run through this cave. But I just won't use Blood Town Step. But it's not that big of a cave. And then after this, we just have the Everjail and Miranda. And then we'll be done with Leone with um Limgrave. Just need to quit out. Once it eventually loads again, good old old patch optimization. Any time now. I don't think it's cr yeah. I don't think it's crashed because I swear when it crashes, it doesn't load that far. Maybe it has. Yeah, it probably has. Uh, let me open it back up. Okay, hang on. Okay, now that it's closed, I should be able to open it back up.
Okay, relatively fixed. So I need to ride over to the ancient hero and then to Miranda. I need to give the stone sword key. Okay, you do not need RKR for that. I think that was genuinely just one hit. Okay, now somewhere around here is Tombswood Cave. I really need to go and buy the lantern, which I will do in Lyurnia. Uh, which way is it? Uh, Leonia Highway North. Okay, yeah, so I bled a bit of time there, about 40 seconds, but... Could have been much worse, I guess. So where am I going? Also crossed over three hours. Um, okay, so I need to sort that. Put Hand and Lania there. Put that there. It's half these I cannot remember. Take that off, put you there. So I should probably leave you on. I did not want to RKR. Okay, it's all going a bit wrong right now, but... I'm sort of getting confused with all the different things in my infantry right now. Okay, so now we get the death right bird. But this is like the one time we're learning how to jump off on the right hand side could be useful instead of having to run back here.
So the Deathlike Bird spawns in over here. And then we warp main academy gate. I really need to just learn which ones I do when and then I will be able to figure out like where I need to walk from that. By just knowing that it's this cavalry will then so I'll know where I need to walk to. And then we drop down to Ray Lucaria, yeah yeah. So somewhere is a spirit spring. That. And then also in all of these trees I need to find where the entrance to the crystal tunnel is. There is a parry fall in here which I just want to try. It saves about half a minute and I did it in PB. I haven't practiced it but I just want to try it. I'm going to get that grace for safety. And go the complete wrong way. So this dude here... You can just drop down there. So I'm still not confident enough to try the one in um, Halic Tree. Because it doesn't save enough time to be worth it if you mess it up. I don't know what was going on there. I was trying to find Marika's hammer in my inventory. Guess I'm not allowed to. Uh, there. As for Crystallians, the best thing to do is to break their stance first. And then Ice Wind them. Okay, so now we go to mana lower level. So we have the Pegasus that I am not necessarily concerned about. I did practice it before starting the run. But it's one of the ones that if you fail it, you lose a lot of time. I think I can get one more point in mind to still get full heal off of FP flasks.
And yeah, I want to save enough FP to kill Loretta and the Alabaster. I mean, that's fine, because I can just do this the whole way. Entirely convinced of using magic there is the best idea, but okay, so we need to go down to the alabaster. Is this the one that they changed their name for? Or I swear one of them on this patch has a different name. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. He can dodge. And I need to go back up here to set up the Pegasus. I just need to find the right spot on the ground for where it is. Uh, there's that thing. I think it's here. Okay, so we've got the Pegasus, and now we're going to go all the way to the precipice for Makar. This is much faster than actually climbing the entire precipice. Because you always have to ride there first. We'll walk up that as well. And we should be at the right height to load this region in. I'm just going to quit out there to get rid of all those enemies. Poison is fine so I can just rest at the grace before my car.
Okay, so let's just rest here. And then after my car, we go to Highway South. Okay, highway south. And then after this boss, I can go and buy the lantern. So I can actually see. into Stillwater Cave. I take the Dungeon Warp out so I don't need the Grace. Then we get over here. then uh, this guy can dodge so I want to just OP goes for an attack or something all that I think that was a little gold so yes now I can go and get the lantern so I don't need to be completely clueless of where I'm going Do I get this grace at all? No. Surprising letter or it's hope, but don't. Lantern. Then I think you can jump up those tombstones, but I'm gonna go and get the spirit spring. Why does that one take so long to count? Wow. Okay, so we go the Bloodhound Knight. Who is somewhere along one of these. And I need to get Hand of Melania back out. Or another skip. Okay, where is it? You're really this far down. Here it is. Then now I need to get Hand of Melania out because I do not know where I'm going.
because we can do a skip over here. Uh, and then just drop straight down. What? No, I don't want this. Oh my god, just let me... Holy... I lost half a minute on that. No, set time tonight. And then I put bubble tear and magic. Then I tried to find my way back out. Okay, so I need to find where the death bird is. So I'm looking for the building. And I cannot find it. The octopus is there, so I think that's scenic aisle. I cannot find... Okay, here it is. Jeez. Deathbird, uh, Smarag, Temple Quarter. I'm bleeding a ton of times, I'm just forgetting where things are. Let me kill you before you fly off. Lovely. Bit of time save. Let me get Malka's hammer on. Because it's Crystallion's. I don't know how it works, like, just going straight for Ice Wind. If you don't break their stance first. So this is the one with the mage dudes. I have gone the wrong way. This way. I'm going to be losing more time just forgetting where to go.
Okay, now let me back off and heal. Okay, why is this dude so annoying? Mate, let me attack you. God, these enemies suck. Don't worry, there's still another double and the triple version. Uh, so Bowles is somewhere around her. And then we go to Rhodes and Catacombs. is south I think yeah I'm pretty sure it's south yeah towards the minor earth tree so we get revenge of shack Which is here. And then I need to run off to the right side along this cliff face. Go along here, then this is the one where the lever is right next to you, and then there's an illusory wall that you need to find. And the snail is just sort of on the edge. Like you don't actually need to fight the... I think it's a Crucible Knight it summons. You don't actually need to fight it, it just... Just already there. Okay, so there's the lever. And then it's down here. And why is this guy still following me? There, so a Crucible Knight spawns in. I don't care about it, I just want to go straight for the snail. So then we need to get the Erdtree Avatar. So Avatar then get the grace and go to the Omen Killer. Small gold out of that as well. So 
Let's get this grace, which we need for some Pegasus coming up very soon. And then go to the village for the Omen Killer. Wherever the fastest path into the village is. Uh, so many killers across that bridge. I think the path is here. Okay, I can also barely see here as well. Might need to use uh, the lantern for this place. Okay, so over this bridge. And there are also some dogs. But they don't matter. Okay, now I need to go and set up Pegasus to get up to the Moonlight Altar, where we'll get Electo Nadula. And then that will finish off Liernia. So we come here, and I need to remember how to actually do this Pegasus. So I need to remember how you actually climb up this wall. There's somewhere you can like shoot up and come back. And then go across. Yeah, and then it just carries you up. Got death cam, but that's okay. As soon as we're on the altar, I will just quit out. Oh, I'm going to use this. Okay, that did not do as much damage as I wanted. Mate, can you run towards me and stop doing your... Run towards me and stop doing that attack. And he dodged that how? <sighs> just stop stat, just stop camping, spamming ranged attacks. Okay, that's something. 
like a minute and a half or so. Okay, now I need to run to a doula who is miles away. Actually, is she? Is she up here somewhere? I need to get to the cathedral. Okay, yeah, she's up here. I need to use ice wind. And start stomping. I don't know what's going on. This is the big attack. And it's going to fly off again. Lost two and a bit minutes there. I mean, it's sort of lucky I first tried it because I didn't get the grace, so I would have been all the way back here if I died, but that was really bad RNG. I mean, most of Leonia was actually good, but then Moonlight Altar was just pretty bad. I mean, we're still five minutes ahead, though, and we can still apparently PB by, like, 18, 19. So now we need to do a wrong warp to get to Estelle. I'm going to ride out of bounds here and then hopefully get to a region that is classified as Lake of Rot. And then wrong warping from that point because it's like the Estelle section will put us back to where the stake is. Will put us to where like the coffin warp is. So load everything else in. And then this should take us to where Astell is. You're telling me that was too early. So I definitely rested here. I definitely rested there because I leveled up. But 
There's no way that was too early. Go okay, ask another two minutes. I refuse to believe that I was too early on the warp there. It's now only going to be three minutes in front. Assuming I don't go mess it up again. Yeah, I, I don't see how I messed that up. Okay, now we're only three minutes ahead, it's getting a bit... I see, I still have like more than 15 minutes of time save, but... Starting to get a bit sketchy. Give my blade about two and a half minutes in Leonia, and then at least two to start things off here. Okay, I don't know how that was any later than the first one. I don't understand how that was any later than the first one I did. I seriously just not have the stamina. Uh, where am I warping? Prince of Death's Throne. Where the hell is that? Just need to do all this talking. Okay, I'm on. Then we need to talk again. And then we can do four to Zach's. Why does this take so long to like hug her? Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. Please, why does just hugging her take so long? Like get a one forty eight on this, right?
I still managed to lose six seconds to that. Okay, warp across the roots. So there's the grace down here that I want to get. And then we have Siluria or whatever her name is. There's the grace here. And then we warp and we go into Noxtella, right? Oh my god, I don't have the bloody stamina to use the Spirit Spring. No, let me... Just let me two-hand. Oh my god, let me get an attack off. I'm losing so much time on these sections. Okay, so now we get to run through Ainsel River for like six minutes. Because we have to run all the way to Noxella and go and get the Jankin soldier. Then we have to run through Noxella and through the Lake of Rot to get to the uh, Jankin in Lake of Rot. Which in like the clean up portion of the run is I think the longest, I think it's the longest time we spent getting to a boss. Like, they're longer splits, I think we fight them for a long time, but it's actually making it to the boss. I think this Lake of Rot Dragonkin is the longest. It's just a case of spamming Bloodhound Step until we get there. Then the fact I'm out of FP is okay because I'm going to stake skip. So I'll get it all back when I die. Because we're going to go up here. And then just jump off the edge. And we'll land in this arena with the uh, with the stake. So that's him dead. We get a gold from it as well. Just making a tiny bit of time back. So and now we have to do all that bloodhound stepping again to get to the lake of rot one. 
there's no fast way to get to it. So all the way over here. I need to get to this elevator. I'm still pretty sure it's faster to like rest at the graces and then like come back. Like rest at the graces and refill your stuff, but actually I don't think it's I don't think this one is two flasks worth of travelling. This means we need to rest at Lake of Rot. There we go. And you know, now we have to run uh, somewhere this way. Here he is. There we go. And we warp audience pathway. That's so why I lost a minute 40. So the fact I've lost four minutes between here in Limgrave is pretty depressing. This is the one other time we do the Volcano Manor Pegasus. I said earlier it's to get up to the um, full grown falling star beast. To which I died in my PB. Let's hope that doesn't happen here. Let's run up here. Okay, it starts with the three dashes. That's what I'd call pretty clean. Look like two shots to kill, so.
Holy shit. I didn't realize I didn't have my double jump. I thought I was just dead there. Okay, so Volcano Cave. I do not know which one this is. It's the Demi-Human Queen, but I don't know where I go for it. Apparently there. Please leave. Okay. And that's another gold. We need to go back to audience pathway and do another wrong warp. Uh, and this one is to get us to the ulcerated tree spirit down at the minor er tree. So somewhere around here I should be able to drop down to make things a bit faster. Not quite sure it was there but that'll do. Past the worm face. Take the physic. I swear to God I dodged that. Um. Okay. Not entirely sure what it was doing there. Now we need to go and get the abductor duo. That is not where you roll off. Slightly further round. Which puts us down here in the like abduction area. Not sure what I was stuck on there, but okay. Drop down all of this. Let's 
and then go over to the boss. How many bosses are left in Gelmir? Like five, maybe? Not entirely sure. We drop down and then I'm just going to RKR before. I get this grace and then it's Seathwater Cave. Which is the Kindred of Rot Poison one. Uh, Eatwater Cave, Magma Worm, and then Wrong Warping. Ow. How many stone sword keys have I got? Eight. Uh, I don't know if that's correct. Surely I must pick up at least another one. There's this. So I now have six. There's Jail Cave, Cave of the Forlorn. What else is there? Old Altus. And that one. So I need at least seven. Yeah, so I need at least seven keys. There's got to be one more I pick up somewhere. I'm trying to think of where it could be. Like, where is there another stone sword key for me to pick up? But am I just forgetting one somewhere on the route? I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting one, like if I've missed one, or if there's just one I pick up later. Like maybe there's a merchant somewhere? Army thinks there's one in like a dungeon somewhere that I was supposed to pick up. I need to remember that if I don't pick up any stones or key before Snowfield to go and get one. Where would it even be? I think part of me does wonder if there is just like a pickup in a dungeon somewhere that I was meant to do.
Also, how did I lose that much time? Uh, where the hell am I warping? I need to rest and then wrong warp. Okay, let me just run through my route quickly before I jump back into this. Where do I get one? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the merchant in Altus by the bridge that you buy three from. That makes a bit of sense. Was there another stone sword? Oh yeah, unsightly catacombs. I, I forgot about unsightly. So those three that I buy should be all that I need. I have six, those will take me up to nine. Then it's Old Altus, Unsightly, um, Jail, Cave, and Cave of the Forlorn. That's the one for Godefroy. So yeah, so those three and I'll have enough. I lost 38 seconds here. Just need to basically bloodhound step past everything. I'm gonna wait. So that will get us to the end down here. And then you just walk off. Okay, so I must have died to Red Wolf then. Okay, I have only got the one bar though. I'm also not sure if RKRing outside of this is the right idea because of how far away the wolf is. Okay, warp abductor virgin. Okay, so we saved a minute 40 in Gelmir. Perfectly adequate. Basically undid the Astel mistake. Am 
Now I want to get this grace because I'm going to take an intentional death in this catacomb. Oh, it's this one. Is this... No, this is just one lightning. The only double watchdog is... Um... In Kaled, like the two fire watchdogs. Okay, this is not where I thought I was. Okay, so there's a ladder around here and then there's the thing that lifts you up. Yeah, and then this lifts you up. I pull that and then I take an intentional death to this guy. Just trying to memory of grace here is a nightmare. Trying to get memory of grace off without any of them attacking you. Even if you quit out to reset enemy position and aggro. So it's easiest to just do that. This is lightning. I need to go down here and kill the Tibia Mariner, which is the one with all the massive, like, skeleton enemies. Gillica. So I want to get the grace here, I believe. And then I need to jump up there. And we're going to pick up what I'm pretty sure is the final bit of damage increase we get. Apparently she had iframes there. The Ritual Sword Talisman, which gives another 10% damage increase when we're at full HP. Which... Ideally, we'll be spending all of our remaining time at. So I need to put that on. Drink my physic. And then I'm going to try and kill Lansax before it flies away. like that. So Lanciax and Adula both sort of fly away at half HP and then there's a second place you're supposed to refight them. The difference is Adula, as soon as it hits half HP, it becomes invulnerable and just teleports away. Whereas Lanciax to leave actually has to do like a flying away animation. 
so with enough damage we can just kill it. We can kill Landsax before it has a chance to fly away. But that's why we still have to go to Moonlight Altar for a doula. into this cave which has two bosses I is this the route was this the route Am I getting confused again okay this is the route Was that just a shortcut there, maybe? Alright, oh, which boss is this? I think this is Gary. I missed. And the invisible black knife assassin. What the hell is it? Oh, it's there. Oh my god, stop comboing. How is it just on me? I lost 40 seconds. Oh my. That black knife actually managed to stall for 40 seconds. I'm trying, like, I think most of my time save remaining is Snowfield. Like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head that went horrifically wrong in, like, Altus or Kaled for uh, my PB. I think it's mostly Snowfield. I missed. Um. Okay, wait, now I've forgotten where to go. Okay, here we are. Try to do the cool skip and end up losing a bunch of time. Sounds like me. 
that Macar? Where's that dragon heart come from? I think that's Macar. Oh my god, I don't fucking have. Okay, where am I going now? Go for a Archie Grazing Hill. That's now 35 seconds. I can only lose about five more minutes, or like nine more minutes to best. And we're getting into like the harder bosses where I stop one-shotting stuff. Okay, so we go and get the Godric copy. Why do all these bosses take so long in their death animation? Okay, Knight's Cavalry. Which is just along this road. So it's Cavalry, Falling Star, Sentinel, and then we go and get the, um, I think it's an Omen Killer and Miranda in the cave. Okay, here's the Cavalry. Oh, does that one not have a split? Oh no, it... Okay, that one just splits at a different time for some reason. Still golded. So now we get the falling star. So I want to try and get it as it's charging. Okay, that was still like a 12 second gold and I and that happened so you can definitely gold that by another like eight seconds. Holy, that's a bit of damage. That should not have hit me. I 
That was very sketchy indeed. If I died there, there was I hadn't got a grace. That would have been a lot of time down the drain. And this is the Omen Killer and Miranda. This is one of the ones where, like, it's actually a really cool idea that I'm surprised I only did once. Where, like, two caves meet each other. Because there's also Altus Tunnel there, which is the double crystallian one. To get the Omen Killer, then get Miranda. And then Warp. Onyx Lord. Um, Warp Perfumer's Grotto, what am I doing? I couldn't see how far down the list I was. Uh, I'm trying to see where I am on the list, on my route. Get out of all phantom tree, and then go to seal tunnel. So I'll probably definitely be losing time here, given I didn't know where I was going. We have 37 bosses left. Which is still quite a lot. I don't need this grace. Off this, we've got the bell bearing hunter. Just take this. I don't know which ones are fastest, like take the drop puzzles around the side, and which ones you should just take the lift down. very carefully get across these uh, this side I forget how long this cave is See, that was a very long cave. Yeah, I'm already losing time. Okay, Hermit Merchant Shack. The Spellbearing Hunt and Deathbird, and then there is the Black Knife Assassin, and then you're in Sainted Hero's Grave, which is 
a very annoying place. And I... I can't remember which run I died on there, but I definitely died on one of them. Love how Margaret's still here, even though he's dead. I can't remember which route is faster, so I'm just going to get this place as well. Okay, so another bell bearing hunter that I can't actually remember the spawn conditions of. What the hell is that? Okay, how am I losing this much time? He's gone. But how have I lost twenty seconds doing that? Oh my god, the fucking snail. Uh. Okay, right, so my death bird split at the wrong time. And it took me five seconds to kill the death bird. And we got Lanseac, so I don't have to worry about taking a detour to get him, which I think I did in PB. So I can just do the run straight to the black knife. So ignore the grace and just continue heading to Saint Atero's grave. Make sure I don't need the physic. Let's get it as it's standing up. Okay, I think that might be wrong. So I'll have to check that. That might be a fake gold, because the death bird split at the wrong time. Uh, 
Okay, one of my least favourite places. This one is super annoying because the Grave Warden Duelist that you have to kill, like to open the gate, the light that you need is outside its aggro range. This light here is outside of its aggro. again I missed again why are these dudes so annoying I swear to god if this just instantly drops and kills me okay that worked I guess This one, I now have to lure this dude outside of his aggro range in order to kill him. Which is so dumb why the devs didn't put a closer one. Yeah, look, this is the end of his aggro. But I need to get him into this. I think that was vaguely successful. I'm just going to wait for this one to go. One of the worst dungeons in the game. God, just let me get an attack off. Okay, worm face. I forgot to get the bloody Altus Highway Grace or whatever it's called. So I'm losing... Okay, actually looking at my PB, it looks like that's what my PB also did. So I'm going to be losing time to best to that, but maybe not quite to PB. But I probably will still. So worm face crystallian duo. First get the stone sword keys from this guy. 
and get this grace. So where actually is Wormface? Tell me that missed. Guess my PB did that same thing. Then somewhere around here I can drop off the edge without dying. I think it's here. I really don't have that much time left. If I want to still get the sub 530, that is. need to do this then we go across the th yeah we take the warp portal and then we go over towards how are you missing who okayed this attack Okay. I don't know what happened there on my PB, but it's a gold. Not entirely sure what would have happened, but... Uh... So now I ride over to Dominula. I don't think there's anything else I pick up on the way. Then I walk back there and go and kill Sanguine Noble. See, I don't get anything else on the way. Okay, Godskin Apostle. There goes my 10% bonus. Again, how is that losing 20 seconds? The Sanguine Noble, Pegasus, Stone Dick Troll, and that is Altus done. I first need to jump off the edge. Actually, I don't think that's what you do. I think you actually just run across there and drop down. Oops.
Uh, this wants me to do the wrong warp. Yeah, I'm not doing that. The wrong warp before Stone Digger Troll. I'll just warp to a tree grazing hill. Okay, where are the ruins? Yeah. So as you come in, you take a step back, which will make him run towards you instead of instantly attacking. Yes, yeah, so now we have the Pegasus to Shaded Castle. The goal is to just, instead of running there, to fly there. So I need to climb up that rock in order to set it up. Because you need to, of course, get torrent above a kill plane. But in order to set up Pegasus, torrent needs to be killed by a death plane or kill box or whatever. Just falling to its death isn't enough. So I need to climb up here because this will hit a kill plane instead of just full damage. Off it goes. And then now we need to lose all of the height. Which we do on this rock face here. Because we need to get all the way down there. We go down here. down on this go down on this as well until we reach there and just use this little blip for a bit extra height just to make sure we're the correct height, and then you can just jump in right before Elema. I would disagree how this guy got up, but I'll go with it. Okay, that guy was just unfair. That would have been a gold if he wasn't there. I should have just quit out, but... I still dispute how it even took him up on the elevator. The old Altus Tunnel. So you can either just ride this way, or you can walk back to that grace I got and wrong walk down. Which actually, it's about break even, so if I don't get that grace and just take a tighter line to the Pegasus setup, then this way would actually be faster. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should start doing that. Like, not get that grace and then do this way. Because it about breaks even.
Okay, you are being really annoying. Uh, where is the dude on this one? I think he's just this way. Did I just do that in between his legs? Dragon Barrow West. Uh, you. Okay, we lost 21 seconds in Altus. So, Pumpkin Duo, Kalem Ruins, Urgy Avatar, Minor Urgy Catacombs. So, Kalem Ruins is that grace. Oh, they're over here. That's way off from where I thought it was. Okay, these guys appear to not have a split for them. So just skip that. So I'm assuming this is Kalem Ruins. Please don't. And then somewhere around here I can drop down for the avatar. That's a putrid avatar. And this is the double watchdog and it's the one where you need to like drop underneath you drop underneath straight away gotta be honest I can't remember this one I don't think you do go straight away yeah because I think you need to I think you need to pull the lever first, and I'm about to lose 370k. Oh, say goodbye to 370k. Just... I should really be quitting out more frequently. Instead of always waiting and trying to do it, if there's a ton of enemies, I should just quit out first.
I don't think there's a way to sneak underneath it without sending it back up again. Oh, do you want to load in? Is this a cemetery? No, this is the watchdog. Of course it is. I thought for a second this was a cemetery shape for some reason. Okay, Kalem Ruins. So, where the hell is Gale Tunnel? I think it's over here? Or this way? No, it's up here. And I lost 30 seconds here, apparently. Uh, is it up here or down there? It's up here. My guess would probably be that those 30 seconds are not getting Kalem ruins. This one doesn't have a lift on it, so we need to run around the outside. I'm pretty sure it's just a straight line to my car. Not my car, but a magma worm. And there goes my 10%. Okay, what are you doing? I can get back here. Why are you charging again? I was just looking around for where it appear, but apparently it's right where I was. Okay, right south to Jail Cave. Which is the one in like the Scarlet Rot area. Uh, how do I get down? Jump off that tree. Alright, so what we got? Jail cave. And then it's like dragon barrow stuff. I actually can't remember where you go in this one. Like, I know there's a skip, but I can't remember where you go after that. So you go through here, and at some point it should open out into like a big main room. I think it's this.
And then somewhere here you can like land on the wall. Okay, this is not how I want to lose all my time. But where is it? Where the, where the hell is it? Somewhere I can... You can land on the wall and jump up. Oh my god, don't fucking cost me here. Where the hell is it? Also, fuck off. Lights like here. Yeah. Don't know why I couldn't do that before. Does that cost another minute? Okay, Frenzy Duelist, Divine Tower of Caled. Divine Tower of Caled. I really need to just practice that. So I... I didn't remember that jump being so difficult. But I, I remember it being pretty straightforward. drop down here and I go not like that I'm trying to drop down and sort of cancel the full damage And I can't remember what the lineup is. Because I need to be facing further right. It's like that. Go that. Okay, so it turns out K to clean up something I need to have a look at. How did that all miss? What, and you're still not dead? Um, Grail. Which is found Great Bridge. And then Lena's Rise. I'm just bleeding time on this Kaled. Fuck you. 
how did that hit me? Oh my god. I swear to God, if you fly off again. Jeez, that costs so much time. I can now only lose five minutes to best for the rest of the run. So somewhere is the cave. I think you can drop down there, but I don't want to risk it. There should be a bear just patrolling here. Yeah. Okay, well, so where do you go in this place? I think it's right. I think it's back here. This looks correct. Okay, now where the hell do I go? That just seems to go back up. Is it that way? Is it this way? Okay, uh, Dragon Barrow West. I'm, I'm trying to like keep up with their, where all the warps are. Because funny enough, the route at this point all looks the same. It's just warp here, kill boss, warp here, kill boss. So trying to figure out where exactly I am on the page is quite difficult. So it's Dragon Barrow West, Vidan, Church of the Plague, Forbidden Lands. Caves that spawn in now. Oh, come on. Of course. Of course, that has a fucking finish on it. Come on! Why would that have a third hit on the combo? It makes no sense why there would be another hit on that combo. Why are you here? No, 
fucking RKR. Okay, and it's not even at an expected time as well. He doesn't even telegraph it. There's another minute gone. So if I still manage to lose sub 530 because of Kalid. It's so depressing. I didn't even pick up my rooms, they're still over there. Okay, so in Caleb there's just this and fucking Trio Crystallion. Which I cannot wait to do. I also need to get... Actually, it should work with Malka's Hammer, this stance swap. Okay, after this we go into Church of the Plague. It does work. Okay, on to future tree spirit. We're really just going to start running around straight away. Okay, Church of the Plague. This is one of the scariest bosses. Because again, being on an old patch before they nerfed multi-boss fights. So this is just... This is just three Vistallions all... Dealing Scarlet Rot. So this is going to be very not fun. I have three FP heals, so I can probably use maybe two of these flasks. Again, why am I not just quitting out there? Makes no sense to why I wouldn't just quit out.
Also, it's so weird why they put the stake so far away from this boss. Right, okay, heal. Summon dogs. And now I have Scarlet Rot. Who okayed this boss? My god. By this fucking guy. What's hitting me? I'm, I'm, I'm just dead. Just give me one. Oh my god. Who said that this was okay? Like, who looked at this boss, playtested and went, yep, yeah, that's good, put it in the game. Piece of shit. All the bloody jumpy spear crystallians are just awful. I mean, that's pretty much the hopes of a sub 530 gone. Oh my god, stop. No, let me attack. Let me attack. Oh my god, I swear to god. Apparently that hits behind him. What the fuck is that boss? I am three seconds ahead. Wow. I lost four and a half minutes. Okay, after this, Giant's Mountain Top Catacombs. That I can do.
Okay, how did that miss? Oh my god, fuck off. How was this missing? Such a fun ending to the run. But that Kaled was so good. Losing fucking four and a half minutes to PB. My god. How are you here? Uh, which way am I going? I'm going to be so annoyed if I miss the 5.30 because of, like, Kaelid. Oh no, we're still not done. Now I've got to drop down here. And then we get to the proper one. I want to see what, like, even if I do lose the 5.30, I do want to see what my summer best is after this. Because I've had a decent number of golds. Okay. On to the tree spirit. Then after this, spirit coolest cave. Can you not go for instant randomness? It's called Cave and Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Is this the Godskin one? So take that, that, that. It's 
finish him off. And then just a snail and then Snow Valley Ruins Overlook. Pretty sure it spawns here. Okay, so Avatar and then Nile. Oh no, the Nile tree jump. That would probably get me. I might lose to that alone. Such an annoying jump, trying to skip all of Castle Soul with it. Okay, this jump is so scary and annoying. I'll probably be doing a lot of quit outs. Or I could get it first try. I just need to make sure I don't die to Nile. So try and hit Nile through this one. Okay. Okay, uh, Guardians, whatever it's called. Giant's Grave Post. And now I have a 28 second goal to run against on Nile. Great. Okay, nine bosses left. This is another one where you have to lure an enemy outside of its aggro range to a light source. So let's do it then. Then after this I'm pretty sure I'm going to Ordina to start Snowfield. Yeah. Let me out the window, please. Okay. 
Who is chasing me? Okay, now I need to get this guy into the light. Come on. Come on. But what are you doing? No, chase after me. Stop attacking. Okay, we're going to Snowfield. But barely ahead. You can dodge as well, and then you're going to hide behind a pillar. Okay, Ordina. Where the fuck is Ordina? Okay, so we have eight more bosses. And probably good five of them are difficult. Okay, there and there. So I'm marking where the catacombs are and then I'm also marking the location for a wrong warp. We'll be wrong warping to the hidden path to the Halic tree. Okay, so I need to get up here. Okay, there we go. So I need to get this grace, and then this is one of the worst catacombs. There's so many enemies and environmental hazards and whatnot. Starting with this. Wait, I'm I just realized I'm supposed to hit that down. Doesn't matter, you can still do it this way. It's just a bit more scary. Okay, I disagree with that one.
Okay, this is really sketchy. As long as I don't die, which is probably going to happen. Oh my god, let me up. Okay, so I didn't die. Okay, go to the Grace Rest level up from what? Okay, so I need to go to the number two on the map. Then also make sure I don't mess up the wrong warp. That'd be nice. Which I did not. This should put us outside Hidden Path. And I should also have two Stone Sword Keys. Which I'm actually just going to check. I do. Just go down here, then try and pull the lever without the octopus getting him away. It picked up the item instead of pulling the lever. Oh my god, let me get there. Let, let, come on! What the fuck is this? Now my only option is to bloody go from the start. Why would they put a fucking enemy there that just blocks you pulling it? most pointless thing ever. Okay, just let me pull the lever. Thank you.
What? How could you dodge that? Stop dodging. What? How do you have... Oh my god, how do you have Sonath? I did not want to summon. Of course I'm now out of shit. How do you have it? That's just... Wait, no, where am I going? Uh... Well, the sub-530 might be dead because of fucking Mimic 2. I only have a few seconds to play around with, so... So annoying that fucking mimicked her. Just the past few bosses in general, like Kaled. Yeah, so I can't die to any boss, and I have to have good RNG on all of them. Six left. So we're almost done. Oh, Shanks, this was a really good run. Like, even after the early cleanup. Basically, Kaylee cleanup is what destroyed this run. Kaylee's cleanup actually destroyed this. I lost four and a half minutes on it. Okay, so after this, in a consecrated snowfield and night time. Apparently that missed. Uh, in a consecrated snowfield. Now I've got Cavalry Duo. Another lovely easy boss. The 
Okay, that missed how. No, why are you attacking with that? That's it. Why does it just not fucking register my... Fucking Kaled. Why does this boss have to be so irritating? Like, oh yeah, let's... Where are you going? No, fucking RKR, oh my god. What, you're still not dead? <sighs> what a way to lose 530. No more graces. No more graces. Full speed mode. Though it's not like I'm gonna get that much gold. On these last three bosses. That's a shame, because the start of this one was so good. I'm not even getting the shortcut, so if I die it's just over BB as well. Then this guy will probably come and join in the arena, I imagine. Yep. You fucking dick. Okay, or Dina. <sighs> you know, one against the early game of this is going to be such a nightmare. Because other than like the occasional one or two things, it was really clean. And then you have to get like four and a half, five hours into the run for there to be like a notable time save.
I don't know if it's night time. So I'm just going to rest because I do not know if it's night time. Okay, I need perfect RNG out of the Deathrite Bird. Which, given it's a Deathrite Bird, I can't imagine happening. Give me perfect RNG, please. Where the hell am I going? I think that's it. <laughs> Holy shit. The death white bird actually pulled through. <laughs> it actually pulled through. Well, that's one way to clutch out an ending. Fucking like death... I, in, in my opinion, that particular one is the hardest fight in the game, so... Clutching that one out to somehow sub-530. So... <laughs> that... that is an ending. Like, after the Death Cavalry duo and after killing them, my best possible time was, what, like, 5.30.05 or something like that? And then I golded the last three bosses to get the sub-5.30. That's a pretty nice way to finish. I believe now, if I Alt F4 and then I reopen the game to show my save file time. So it might be a 40 and not 41, but I guess we'll see. Five twenty nine forty Elden Ring, all bosses. <laughs>